What's up, guys? What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, one question. How many of y'all like to eat? All right, whoever's not raising their hand is lying. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. How many meals do you eat a day? Do you eat three meals a day? No. Five, six. Three, four? Five, no. Five? Maybe. Yeah, five, five. Six? Six, seven, eight? Is it eight? <laughs> All right. Me, I like to eat, like, every chance I can get. When I'm not talking, I'm eating. So, our, when we went to uh, Richmond to have this TOPS program, I, I walked out of the van and I expected to be handing out sandwiches and waters and then not really getting much of a response from the homeless people. And then as we were walking around, me and uh, a couple of my friends we're walking and this guy's playing a guitar with, an, with one of his buddies and they kind of looked like 70s hippies. Like they were playing kind of like 70s rock music. So we thought it would be a good idea to go talk to them and see what they had to say. And we walked over there and we sat down and we gave them the sandwiches and the water and honestly I don't know how they do it. They get lucky to have one meal a day. I'm eating like eight, nine, and they're eating a PB&J sandwich and a bottle of water, drinking a bottle of water. And the thing is, they don't want to talk about how much food they eat. They want to talk about things like football or music or things in life. And like the guys I was talking to, they were so free and they were happy and they yeah they were homeless but it didn't bother them I mean they walked around the city played their guitar asking for money and they would get food with the little money that they had but what struck me about these two guys is right when I sat down the guys started asking about God and the Jesus and the Bible and that automatically struck me because even though you have nothing and you're sitting in the middle of a park playing a guitar and eating a PB&J sandwich that some random guy gave you, you still want to talk about your faith. And this guy's name was Kenny. And he wanted to be a youth minister. I mean, this guy's like 50 years old. He's homeless in the middle of a park and he wants to help people like us find God. And he wants to talk to you about God, and he wants to read the Bible to you. And I started talking to him, and yeah, they had some crazy stories, because, I mean, they don't do much. But uh, they were really, really in depth with their faith. I mean, this guy who was sitting next to him, who never told, us his, never told us his name, he was spitting out Bible verses like that. Now, I mean, I'm thinking he did it like 20 Bible verses without even looking at a Bible. Because the thing is, they didn't have a Bible. I mean, I talked to him and I asked him why he didn't have a Bible. And he said, because every time I get one, someone steals it. And I said, okay. And I mean, that kind of hurts a little bit that someone's going to want to steal someone's Bible, someone's faith that they have from them. So as I was closing up with the men, and uh, I gave him a necklace like the cross necklace I have one now. And um, I ran back to the van as fast as I can, as fast as I could, which isn't very fast. <laughs> yeah, it's because of all the food I eat. <clears throat> but I ran back and I shuffled through my bag and I found a Bible uh, that big, that big. And I ran back and I handed it to the guy and I said, try not to lose this one. And then in it, which I didn't know it had my number in it, but it had my number in it. And um, he said, I promise you, I won't lose it. And he stuck it in his bag. He stood up, he gave me a hug. He said, God bless you. And then 
it, it really struck me because he doesn't care about him sitting in the middle of a park in the middle of Richmond, Virginia without a shirt and he's eating a PB&J sandwich. He wants to talk to you about your faith. He wants to talk to you about how he got where he is. He wants to talk to you about sports and his life. I mean, he doesn't care that he's homeless. He just wants to show God to all of us. And that guy, Kenny, <laughs> I'll never forget him. I mean, he was probably one of the fav my favorite people that I've ever met on a youth mission trip. And hopefully, one day he'll find that number in the back of my book, and I can get in touch with him again. And then hopefully one day he will be not homeless again, and then, and he'll have stuff, and he'll be able to help us help be a youth minister like he always wanted to be. And I mean, truthfully, I love getting in front of people like, like you guys and talking. I mean, I've always wanted to be a youth minister, but this guy, I mean, this guy struck me.